It might be early to be thinking such things but there's every chance there won't be another game as good as the latest Zelda this year, yes, we have Mass Effect, Andromeda, Red Dead Redemption 2 and Super Mario Odyssey still to come in 2017, and they could get close, but everything about Zelda is jaw-droppingly magnificent, it is a fine swan song for a dying generation and a glorious start for a new one, it is the very definition of a must-have game and deservedly leads the charge for Nintendo towards a new, Switch-flavored future. The only problem is that it has consumed our lives so completely of late that we've barely seen our loved ones, even slept, and thanks to the complete experience being available to play on Switch in handheld mode as well as docked. We've also carried on at the dinner table, during TV time, even on the loo, The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, an epic quest unfurls part of the problem is that Breath of the Wild is massive, not just in the open world map terms, although that is, Indeed, mighty, but in scope and scale. There is so much to do in Hyrule that you could happily play for countless hours without doing many of the story quests at all. The plot is traditional Zelda fare, with you once again taking on the mantle of regular hero Link as he awakens from a century-long slumber. This time though, he has no idea of his destiny and has completely lost his memory. Worse, Hyrule has partly been reduced to rubble in the last 100 years. So not only must you eventually best series stalwart villain Gunan, you must also piece together what happened in the past beforehand. But we just buggered about for the first five or so hours. At least once the mainly tutorial missions are over, the game is clever in that you don't feel like it is holding your hand, even when it is. In bar the first few acts, there are a few designated paths you must follow. Indeed, deviation is often encouraged and rewarded. 